My name's Carol Huynh, and uh, I'm a wrestler. <laughs> Right now I'm training to get myself to the top of the podium in London this summer. So. I'm married to Carol, not her achievements, so it's kind of neat. Um, as for how I think she'll do in the next Olympics, she's still the best female wrestler I've ever seen. My name is Danielle Lapage and I am from Olds, Alberta and I am here because I go to SFU and I'm on the wrestling team there. Then when I found out that I was actually going to be a part of the trials this year, I was just so excited. Like I never imagined it would come so fast. I've got it written down. She wrote it in a little essay. She wrote, I think it was grade four. She was going to go to the Olympics, but I think at that point it was in gymnastics, but she knew she was going to go in some sport. I think wrestling's for everyone. Like, I don't see a difference between uh, the opportunity for men and women in, in a sport where it's about what you do. It's not about who you are. When I first meet people and tell them, that I am a wrestler, then I get mixed reactions. Don't think I should be doing it because it's a man's sport or think it's like jello wrestling or something. You know, women are always expected to kind of uphold this certain um, level of femininity, whereas if, you know, when you look in a, a wrestling room, like how much femininity are you seeing there, right? If I wrestle my best and lose, I'll still be happy. So that's just my goal, is to wrestle well. I don't want to think about the consequences. I don't want to think, oh well, if I try this, if I risk that, then I might lose. That's not, that's not the way I want to think.